other areas would you highlight that need to be oh explored so many in? so many this is a in my view it's a very under researched area and uh, um, I think there's so many interesting areas to pursue further research. Um, I myself am pursuing two um, at the moment and uh, uh, one is a now more focused piece of research on the digital revolution in publishing. Uh, of course it plays a very large role in my last two books, in books of the digital age and in merchants of culture. Each book has a great deal of focus on the digital revolution, but <clears throat> it seems to me that <clears throat> the, this re revolution is gaining pace now in the world of publishing, and therefore I've decided that I'm going to try to write an analytical account of how the digital revolution in publishing has happened and is happening and is going to happen over the coming years, and so I'm working on that project now, and that seems to me terribly important, there's no question that this is an absolutely critical factor for the future of the industry. The second thing that I've been working on is to focus on the worlds of writers because I've been focusing on the field of publishing uh, and different players in that field, publishers, agents, retailers and so on. Authors in some ways, although they are the source of content, the source of the creative content are on the margins of the field and in some ways outside of the field because their entry into the field is always handled and negotiated by agents and other players. So writers are really marginal to this industry, although their own livelihood and career depends fundamentally on this industry. I interviewed quite a lot of authors for Merchants of Culture and I became very interested in the ways in which they construct their worlds and how those worlds are changing today with all of the economic and technological changes taking place in the industry. And so I'm immersed in uh, a, a project focused on the changing worlds of writers and um, the changing nature of writing and creativity in the 21st century. Um, so those are two things that I'm working on. Um, but there are many other projects that, that merit attention. Um, one thing that I think would be a wonderful project would be to do a really sustained sustain piece of research on agents. And, and no one is, surprisingly, no one's written a really great study of the rise of the literary agent yeah. from the 19th century to the present day. It's an under-researched field, and yet they are hugely powerful and influential players in Anglo-American trade publishing. Scouts, another great topic. No one has ever really done a proper piece of research on the role of scouts. Um, there are so many other topics. You mentioned reading and the uh, changing nature and the role of reading in the 21st century. It's a great and important topic. Hard to study methodologically, but really important topic to, to explore. Um, another really terrific topic is you know, to look at different linguistic fields of publishing and to think about this comparatively. I focused on the Anglo-American field uh, of trade publishing, but the field of French, of German, of Italian, of Norwegian, of Swedish, of uh, so many other fields of publishing, and they work in different ways because there are there are different factors that are going to shape the evolution of those fields, and no one has really tried to think through systematically a comparative analysis of different fields of publishing, different linguistic fields of publishing. So I'd certainly like to see a lot more work done on, on that. Those are just some examples. Thank you. Well, sure. You've really inspired us. Thank you. Your visit today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.